Alright, I should probably go and uh, get that table now. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's just a door. Let's go talk to Chloe's mom. Oh, hey, Justin. Hey, scared boys. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Um, let's take a photo of him. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Oh my god. The way Max was talking, were we flirting with him? Were we? Holy shit. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. What up, dude? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. I did? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Smart boy. Tell your bros, dude. Y'all always need to tell your bros. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Um, everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> okay. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. <laughs> That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Oh, wow, what a dick. <laughs> what a dick. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Oh, you should probably touch that burger then, dude. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Um, no, I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie? Or grilled mac and cheese. Oh, oh God, this sounds amazing. Uh, I wanna ask about Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Oh, he, he paused right there. Oh, oh wait, what was that pause for? Take care of her like our own wife? Oh, oh. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, that'd be me. <laughs> uh, who told you that? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Um, are you talking about the pot dealer, or talking about Chloe? Oh, uh, I, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Uh, yeah, sure. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. 
Okay, so we were talking about Chloe. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Uh, I'm just curious, is all. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise well, policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Oh, we're so gonna check out that RV. Um, in the first episode, I, I didn't realize that that was actually something you could interact with. The RV. What is that, a butt crack? Oh my goodness, dude. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the RV once we're done in this diner. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Hey, Joyce. Can I talk to you? It doesn't seem like we can. Maybe we can sneak behind the counter? No, we can't. Okay, fine. Drool. Want everything. Oh my god, so... I'm playing this at 4.30 a.m. The last time I ate was, uh, I think around 8 p.m. Pretty hungry right now, so this These game- These fishermen are so damn quiet. This game isn't helping. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Fuck, everybody is so negative. Weird lady. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. To you, <laughs> such a beautiful day, eh? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh, I will, eh? What? Okay. Oh, man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Gross. Wait, what the fuck? This a, there's a person outside. This guy has serious coronas. Okay. Costa oh, like a Jack Costa? Anyway. There's um, there's a dude out there. I'm gonna go outside and check him out. I can't go out. Oh. Hey man, I didn't notice you here before. Oh, there's the RV. What's up? He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Okay, so you're a fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Uh, king of the harbor? Oh, uh, your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh. Oh, God. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Mm, do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Okay, so the Prescott family snatched up the rights to the harbor, but what the hell would you do with that? Like, Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Like, okay, so you take all the rights to the bay. What are you going to do with it, honestly? Like, like, do they want to start a fishing business here or something? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Other day? I didn't even notice this anyway. Oh, hi, puppy. Oh, stop that. Stop. No barking. 
Oh, there's that dude. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. I wanna talk to him. Uh, looks like I can't. Okay, back into the cat, the, the diner we go. T-shirt? I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Yep. Uh, oh no. Kate Marsh love you long time. It's even gone here. Flush before pissing on the floor. What is this? Gross. Oh. Okay. So does your mom. <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? Firewalk with me. Well, check this out. There's another deer here. There's so many. Like, it's so obvious. The game is just throwing deers at us. Acadia Gay Sucks Deck. Clever. Thank you, redneck poet. Clever. Anyway, let's go grab a booth. Which booth? How far back do I have to go? Oh, there we go. Sit in a booth. She finally notices us. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. We're still covering for her? I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Oh, I, I like her. I don't think Chloe understands. Um, actually, maybe she does. I'll just say she's changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yeah, I did. I did, and I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Fuck yeah, she knows. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm, yeah, I, that's what I actually am starting to think. He might have been hassling Kate Marsh in order to get all the details in order to, um, maybe bust Nathan Prescott because he knows something's wrong. Maybe he just hates bullies too, but he just does things in a very aggressive fashion. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. 
What do you want to eat? Oh, a bacon omelet or a Belgian waffle. Omelet, waffle, omelet, waffle. I can't decide. I'm going to flip a coin. Okay. Heads, omelet, but tails, waffle. Oh, it's, it's not a coin I lied. It's actually a, a pin. Okay. Okay, Belgian waffle it is. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Oh, let's look around. One Belgian. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. What in the fuck? How is this so cheap? Waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. Oh, that's fast. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, food. Oh, graffiti. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Wait, what did that say? The, the writing. Nerd I graffiti. found a... Something Warren must have been here. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. <laughs> no beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is a diner, dude. Anyway. Oh, time to eat. Oh, I'm so excited. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Oh. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Speak of the devil. Oh, yeah. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. You're so What naked. is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. What the f mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Oh, what the? the? Okay, okay, I get it. We're gonna have to rewind time a lot. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, this is probably a fucking... Oh, wait, there's bullets around her neck. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I tried to rewind just then. Didn't work. Cigarettes? A teddy that bear. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Oh, teddy bear, huh? Let's take a look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Black and white teddy, or black and white bear keychain with a heart in the middle. Um... 
seven cigarettes and 86 cents. Warning ticket. Twin Peaks registration on the 21st and Site C Franklin Street. Okay. Let's rewind time. Hopefully we get everything right in one go, because I don't want to have to do this again. I should have written those things down. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Motherfucking seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, let's say panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You're poor as fuck. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. And a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Shit. Oh, it's 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that look on her face. Amazeballs. I've literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. God, me too. Shit. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Still not enough? I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, choices. Oops! Oh, drop. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Whoa. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Oh, those two guys are having a disagreement for sure. Oh, the weird lady got up to go to the bathroom. All right, let's do this. All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Joyce... Uh, cop drops his glasses, Trevor drops his glass, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh, alert on cop's radio, and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And Justin and Trevor find Joyce beats them, Joyce stops them, Joyce doesn't care, and Joyce encourages them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and... Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. These are all pretty predictable. Uh, God, yo, I, I saw the event. Oh, so it wasn't the lady. The weird lady. Okay. I thought the last event would be this lady going into the bathroom. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Oh, so the you- So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Oh, okay, so we were missing the jukebox. I thought it'd be the lady who got up and went to the bathroom. Was it a cockroach that crawls on it? I actually couldn't see. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Yeah, I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to this side. So, I- not sure if it was actually a cockroach, but here, check a look. Take a look at her hair tie. It's bright blue, just like Chloe's hair. Break another cup? Really? No refill for you. 
Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. I wonder if, um... Oh, it is a cockroach. Good. I wonder if the blue color has any kind of meaning for these two. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I'm going to predict... The trucker... So, what happens next? Okay, so I was wrong. The cop actually doesn't get up and leave. I'm guessing his partner leaves because he asks, Where's my partner? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. So that was the siren noise. Okay. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. The juke... Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. There we go. Anyway, I wonder if this blue, um... Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Throw <laughs> up. Oh my god, that's why she thinks so? Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, that's what I did. Yeah. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, yep. See. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. That's the cost. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I wonder Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Yeah, for real. Anyway, I, s I wonder if that blue hair tie that Chloe's mom has has anything to do with Chloe's hair color. I mean, they are mother and daughter. Does the color have any kind of symbolism? Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh, she'll be around, whatever. Um, I noticed also that Max has a, an art, like a, a band around her wrist that's just the same bright blue color as Chloe's mom's hairband and Chloe's hair. I wonder if that has any kind of meaning. Like these three characters are like connected deeper than all the other characters in this game. I don't know. Anyway, fuck you, Chloe. I can have friends. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. Shut you up. Okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Yeah, relax. Jeez. God, she's jealous. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Nah, that's fine. Okay, creepy RV guy. 